What is the difference between the 9 and 11? Bill Nye the Science Guy! Bill Nye the Science Guy! We went out into the field. When I mean the field, I don't mean the actual field. We literally just went out into Atlanta. The great unknown. No, that's not a house coat. Yes, I am wearing a lab coat. Um, don't ask where I got it from. We're just gonna say that I never returned it after I took microbiology class. Hey guys, what's up? It's Mess with Mildred here, and today I have another video. Video, video, video. Today we are doing a little experiment. I know y'all must be quaking right now. If y'all recently didn't know, I just purchased the new 11 Mini Intex Fuji Film Polaroid camera. Ooh. I want to know if there's really a difference between the 9 and the 11. We're going to put them to the test today. Face to face. And we're going to see which Polaroid camera will come out supreme. Which camera will have the ultimate photos. Which camera will have the best clarity, quality, and so on and so forth. We are going to test 10 different factors. We're going to take a picture on the 9 to the 11 and see which one turns out the best. I also created a little checklist of the 10 different photos that I wanted to test. A close up, far away distance photo. The indoor lighting, and we're gonna test the outdoor lighting. Saturation, selfie, reflection photo. Now, contrast between red and blue. The scenic photo, the last one is going to be low light. And we're gonna put these to the ultimate test to see which one is going to prevail. I'm curious to know which one you guys will think will work best, the nine or the 11. So definitely put in the description box below which one you think is going to prevail and come out the best. Alrighty, so our very first location. Funny story, we actually went to Home Depot to go take these photos because I was like, I know Lowe's damn well does not have any good cactuses. I mean, because I, I just know these kind of things. This is really dumb of me. So you know the little stands that they put flower pots in and they just kind of adjust it? Well, your girl completely filmed everything and then walked out without her phone. All right, Gigi, let's go. One winner later. Was driving midway down the road from home and realized I left my phone completely on on the flower rack. Completely left it like filming everything. Two pictures of two cactuses. And for the most part, they're not the greatest. The nine is a little bit darker than the eleven. In the background, you can actually kind of see a cactus behind it that is actually in really good focus. <laughs> All right, our second location is actually a very interesting place. We were driving through another little city, kind of on the way towards Atlanta, and I seen that they had a really nice brick wall, nothing special, and it had a cast iron staircase going up it. And so I thought this was a good place just to take a photo and use it as an excuse. In this photo, you can see that I'm holding an umbrella and kind of just... You can clearly see a difference in these. Nine did not turn out well at all. It's super dark. You can't see hardly any of the like little individual railings in it. It just is not appeasing to the eye. And the umbrella, you can't really see any of the colors besides blue. And then on the 11, it's a lot more brighter. It's a lot more detailed. You can see it, but the umbrella still isn't there. But other than that, I don't think these photos are terrible, but they're not my favorite. So this next picture is just to test saturation and with this I just took that same exact umbrella I took in that photo and I just held it up and took a undershot of that. And this one you can really see the very good contrast in it and actually surprisingly I think I like the 9 better than the 11. Especially in the 11 when you take a look at that yellow and that green it kind of just looks smudged together and it looks like the same color. Either of them aren't ugly but the 9 definitely came out solid. In Ben has, he has connections with animals. We'll just leave it at that. Y'all don't need to be creepy and creeping on us. These are little pictures of ducks that they just got before Easter. They were so cute, y'all. They were literally so cute. They're so tiny and, and fluffy and, oh, they were so good sticky. Cute. I just wanted to take them all home with them and hug them, like throw them in my bed and just have them, you know, walk across me with their little fluffy butts. There's no difference between these at all whatsoever. They both came out really good. Um, 
I think the only thing that is, is the nine is just a little more clear. The very next place we went to was a little shaped ice location off the side of the road. Yes, I crunched my brakes just a little bit, just trying to pull up. No, I actually didn't. I'm just being a little over dramatic. We got a cool picture with a giant chair. I mean, huge. That was a mega chair. That was a monster chair. That was Godzilla walking through the city, crushing everything, big chair. We're just gonna call it Godzilla chair. <laughs> with the Godzilla chair now it was a bright pink and purple chair well, initially you can really see the difference in the lighting in nine the the setting was not set right at all let's be honest that thing is bright you can barely see the chair and it's just not there now on the 11 okay we got we got everything we needed <laughs> next one that we test was a reflection now this one I thought it was very interesting. I have tried taking these before in like a bathroom mirror. It did not turn out good. The window pictures never turn out good. That's proven here in the nine. It is not clear at all, just super dark. And all you can really see is the white contrast and the black. When you look at the 11, girl, oh my gosh, you can't even tell that that's a reflection. And the only really thing that you can kind of notice is just the flash of the light from the Polaroid taking the photo. But other than that, I'd say the reflection actually stepped up on this. Now this is the one that I was probably the most excited for because I kind of have struggled with trying to get those vibrant photos for my Polaroid wall. Yes, I am holding a bicycle tire. I couldn't figure out how to pose, so I literally just picked up a bicycle tire off the side of the road. We were taking this picture on a random wall in Atlanta. Yes, it's probably not safe, but you know what? YOLO, no one's out, quarantine, hashtag Corona 2020, here for presidency. The red and blue actually aren't too bad, and I'm actually impressed in both of them because you can't really tell the difference between which one is the 9 and which one's the 11. <laughs> Next photo is my far away slash scenic photo. I got a picture of Atlanta. I don't have any awesome photos of skyscrapers, so I wanted to take this opportunity and add to my collection of Polaroids. Now this was a little hard to get only because it was on a sunny day. And when I did try and take the Polaroids, the light was literally bounced from the sun was literally bouncing off all the buildings. But overall, I think the nine is just a little on the light side, but it's not terrible. Like that's totally like, it's what we expect from most of the cameras we want a lot of brightness we want color now but i will say the 11 is a little more darker but i prefer the 11 over the 9. if i still had the 9 i would still not be upset with this photo because it's still really nice you can still see the skyscrapers and just the foliage and everything else around it <laughs> location i don't remember what it was called but there is a little burrow in atlanta flowers unicorns butterflies everything nice no we're not talking about that this is literally just graffiti i was a side of a highway that was raised up and the wall all the way down that street was just covered in graffiti but what was really cool is there were all different artists different colors different messages on each panel of the wall i just i don't know i thought that was really pretty so as well there is um, an, a bridge that goes under and even the bridge, like the little tunnel bridge that you go through and there's a little sidewalk up there too. You could, there was still graffiti. So I took this opportunity to take yet again, right. photo opportunity number two. And Sam, literally Sam was on the railing and I jumped over the railing and in between the two streets, there's like little columns in the bridge. So I ran in, took a picture in one of the columns. They did not turn out good at all. It, it ain't doing any justice in either one. Now, I kind of knew that this was gonna be a stretch and I kind of was just really putting the test of the flash between the nine and 11 and see how good it actually was. It is what it is. What's better than to end the day with a really nice sunset photo? Definitely turned out, I think, the prettiest besides the umbrella. The 9 and the 11 both picked up the colors, the and especially the light bouncing off the cloud. 
there's really no difference between these at all there which is quite impressive because I thought this would be a struggle with the camera is finding the balance between the 9 and the 11. I think this is a really opening experiment especially in the sense that I'm trying to see the difference between what is the 9 and the 11 and I think the two things that I can definitely correlate between all the photos is the lighting and the distance. I believe these two factors are the ones that play the most key role in trying to get an effective photo of a Polaroid. Yes, there's also color and balance and all that stuff, but I think if you can find the appropriate balance between those two, I think that it will definitely help your Polaroids go a long way. There really isn't too much of a difference between these. Yes, 11 is a little bit more than the 9, but I think this is all based on preference for which one you would like. The 9, you can't go wrong with. It doesn't have much of the same qualities to shy off of what the 11 has, but I believe the 11 might have a little bit of an upper hand in this situation. Most of the Polaroids, you could definitely tell a different lighting in them, and it adjusts a whole lot more well than manually having to do it on the aperture of the Polaroid. But with this being said, I think all my photos turned out pretty well, except for a few. I'm not saying all of them. If y'all like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe to see more of me. Duh. And also, hit the notification bell at the top for more future videos in the future. We'll see y'all next time. Bye!